Conference, I've got some sad news. G'day plant friends and welcome back to Scott Grows an Avocado Tree, the channel on which I, Scott, attempt to grow an avocado tree from seed. I'll also do other avocado and plant related things along the way. Last year I actually purchased two avocado trees with the idea of growing them for their grafting stock. I bought a shepherd and a hearse. The shepherd died, I replaced it and it's doing okay now. It also had a little bit of a brush with root rot. Um, it's actually behind me here. Uh, it's not got as many branches or leaves as it once had, but it's got lots of new growth. I'm feeling very positive about that one. The Haas did okay, but it also was subject to some root rot. So I attempted a rescue. And that went fairly well, but something happened, which I'm going to tell you about in an animation. About six months ago, I attempted to rescue an avocado tree from root rot. Things were not looking good for the tree. It had dropped many of its leaves and we had to remove many of its roots because they were dead. After transplanting it, changing the soil, cleaning everything off, it was looking really good. After a couple of months, it had regrown dozens of leaves and it was even growing new branches. I was hopeful. Things were looking excellent until something happened. You see, we have got two cats, Magnus and Luna. They are fantastic. We keep their kitty litters in pristine condition. Now, cats, we know what they're like. You buy them a cat tower. They like to sleep in the box that it came in. You get them the most excellent of foods and they try to steal your chips and cheese. You give them a wonderful, perfect, clean kitty litter and they decide to use your avocado tree pots as a toilet instead. Yes. A couple of months in and the recovery was looking fantastic. But then after a while, I was noticing the soil wasn't drying out as it was, or as it should, which was strange. I waited to water. I waited until the soil was dry. I tested it with my moisture meter multiple times a week and it never dried out. I waited and I waited and, oh, I was thinking this is not good for the recovering tree because of course, Avocado trees love well draining soil and root rot is a fungus which grows in moist and low oxygen conditions, which is what was happening with my tree. And then suddenly I caught the culprit. She was squatting in the soil of the tree. At this point, it had probably been a month or two of her doing this. Not good. The leaves once again began to droop and fall off. I ended up attempting a second rescue by moving it into a smaller pot, but it was no good. The damage was already done. The roots had been eaten by the fungus that loves that moist oxygen deprived environment that Luna had created for it. And over the next little while, with almost no living roots, the tree died. And this is the tree now. It is dead. The stem has turned black, the roots have all died, and I am sad. Hello, Luna. Yes, you did this. But what have I learned? Well, I've learned that the aftercare process for a tree that is recovering from root rot is not short, it's ongoing. You need to make sure that the soil remains well draining and you let it dry out in between waterings. You also need to make sure that no other members of your household are mistakenly watering it or watering it without your knowledge, especially if it means that that tree then becomes waterlogged and it dies. As well, after talking to some people, the pot that I chose to plant the avocado tree in originally was a little too large. It was too large for the root mass. The root mass only took up a portion of that pot and there was just so much of the pot which was empty, just with soil, which without that extra help of the roots taking that out, the water was just sitting there. So in the future, I'm going to be planting my new avocados in smaller containers that aren't too much larger than their root balls. Of course, I'll need to be repotting them fairly regularly, as you would do with any plant. And on a side note, I've actually started to treat my avocados with root rot with a solution of water and hydrogen peroxide. The idea being that the hydrogen peroxide is going to kill off the fungus without damaging the roots too much. And so I've been using that when I water and I'm seeing some good results. I've also put skewers in the soil of the indoor trees so that Luna doesn't decide to sit in it and relieve herself. And there we have it, a bit of a sadder episode of Scott Grows an Avocado Tree today. But we've learned something. 
we know that it's really important to actually keep monitoring your plant's soil after you treat it for root rot because it's an ongoing process. It's also important to make sure that nobody is unintentionally overwatering the plant. I'd like to assure you that the steps that we took in that first video, the how to save an avocado tree from root rot, are still good steps and will save your tree. As I said, the tree grew dozens of new leaves until Luna started to use it as a toilet. So if you're trying to save an avocado tree from root rot, that video does give you the right advice. However, you also need to be mindful going forward of what's happening to the soil, which mostly just involves making sure that it dries out in between waterings. And I think I'll finish that there. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Please do leave your morning message in the comments for this sad, dead avocado tree. Um, hit that like button to let me know what you thought about this video. Make sure you subscribe to Scott Crow's and Avocado Tree so let's not miss any future avocado updates, whether they be successes, failures, they're all learning. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.